What's going on, guys? This is Mexiplay HD, and we are here talking about our next Survivor Series prediction. Our next match, and that match is going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship. It is going to be between the World Heavyweight Champion John Cena and the number one contender, the boring, the uncharismatic Alberto Del Rio. When I hate his guts so much, I really don't like him. Nobody likes him. He's very annoying. He's getting he got old very quick as a heel and as a face. Um so uh let's talk about this match. We all know Cena is gonna retain. It's pretty goddamn obvious. <laughs> now here's the only problem that I have with the world title picture. I believe and a lot of people believe this as well, that Damien Sanders should be the man challenging Cena for the world title. I believe he should have been the next world heavyweight champion. I think he should have never lost when he cashed in his money in the bank briefcase. So he's officially the first man to lose in, the, in his cash-in. Clean, not dirty like last year. But... I'm just, I kind of get it because there's no way S Sandow can beat Cena. It just wouldn't make sense, first of all, especially with the pay-per-view record that Sandow has, has had. He hasn't really won a lot of pay-per-view matches. So I actually kind of get that. It's just, I think he shouldn't really catch in on Cena. It should have been cashed in on someone else. Probably after Cena, maybe he could have cashed in, in after WrestleMania like Ziggler did. But, I mean, poor Santa. He <laughs> was like, yeah, Mr. Money in the back, and then just loses it. But, uh, yeah, that's my computer. <laughs> I think that, well, it's obvious that Cena will retain at Survivor Series, and that at the TLC pay-per-view, I think the next challenger will be Damien Sandow. And I think it will be a cool match to see Cena versus Sandow. Um, you could have it probably be a ladder match. I think that will be a good match. Cena versus Sandow ladder match for the world title. That that would actually make sense. Instead of having the real once again, because it's really boring WWE. Um, so that's basically it. That's all I have. There's not really that much to talk about here. Because really the world title has been a toy. It's not really been that prestigious uh, as it was. Because it's more prestigious than the WWE Championship. I mean, it's over a hundred years old. So, uh, yeah, it's what? It's about to be a hundred and ten? In 2015, it's about 110 years old, and it's been like a toy. It, it's been a placeholder, like seen like uh, the real was a placeholder, and it's just not coveted as it used to be. It's not prestigious no more. You have people like the real and Cena. In my point of view, he's not really doing that great of a job. Even though his reign just started, I think. It's not that prestigious no more. It's just a leg. It's like a mid card title. I think it's worse than the U.S. title now. That's telling you something. So uh, that's basically it. So I think Cena will retain. It's probably gonna be Cena versus Sandow at the TLC pay per view, and Cena's gonna retain that. We all know that. I think he's gonna hold the championship until WrestleMania. Somebody's gonna take it off him at WrestleMania. I think that's what's going to happen. So what do you guys think about this match? This very boring match. Survivor Series, what I thought was going to be, was one of my favorite pay-per-views now, which just not my favorite pay-per-view. I don't feel as jacked as I used to be. Like I remember Survivor Series 2009 and 8, man. Those were the bomb Survivor Series. Like They were awesome. They had great 5-on-5 five five tag team matches. Now we only have like what two, one? I don't even know. But I'm really not that pumped up for Survivor Series. It's 
It's not, they don't have really good matches. Cena, the Rio, that's going to be like an 11 minute match. So, what do you guys think about Cena versus the Rio? Probably all of you think it's boring as hell. You don't really want to see it. Um, so what do you guys think about this? Make sure you leave a like and make sure you comment down below your ideas and make sure to subscribe for more wrestling content and walkthroughs. Maybe we're gonna do a walkthrough, I don't know. I'm still thinking of a game. I'm either thinking GTA 5, um, a WWE 2K14 universe mode, or uh, Last of Us walkthrough. So what do you guys think about that? So make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, subscribe and make sure you comment down below and we will see you all on the next one.